We often think of Christmas as the holiday for giving, but for me, Halloween represents a special, unconditional kind of giving. A kind of giving that's often impossible under normal circumstances. Halloween is one of the only times we are free to almost unconditionally give to a stranger. The only conditions we have are 1. Be a kid. 2. Show up in a funny costume. And 3. Scream trick or treat as loud as you can. As a kid, Halloween was one of the days I looked forward to every year. Exploring the neighborhood, hopefully with a friend or two, and organizing my candy stash for the next year made for some of my best childhood memories. It was also one of the few days a year I could dress up as an anime character. As an adult, Halloween brings me back to those innocent childhood days. And through the act of giving to these kids, I remember an innocence I once had for giving to others. And I'm forced to reckon with how I've changed since then. I think it's easy to say that we all grow up wanting to be good people. It's why I loved shows like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh growing up. Yet as I grew up, life slowly showed me that things were not so simple. If I just made the bully understand how much he hurt me, then of course he'd stop, right? It's okay if everybody takes one of my pencil grips, even if I don't have any at the end. The thing about unconditional giving is that it's very easy to be taken advantage of. True unconditional giving means to give without any bounds and to whoever asks. The second you add criteria like I will only give if this person is trustworthy and won't run me dry, then you've already added a condition. This kind of giving isn't possible in the real world unless your name is Jesus Christ. There will always be somebody who will milk you dry for everything you've got. The unfortunate truth is that you always have to be careful who you give to. If I'd watched Pokemon a little closer, I might have actually understood this sooner. Ash Ketchum does not give unconditionally. He only does so with his friends. Even if he is kind to Team Rocket, he will never give them Pikachu and he will never give away his dream of becoming a Pokemon master. The closest we can get to unconditionally giving is in small, isolated pockets of it. Giving to children during Halloween is one of those pockets. It's a time when we can give with few conditions and without fear of being taken advantage of. And I think that's wonderful, because when we give to others, we create a whole that is greater than the sum of its parts. Any parent can go buy a huge bag of Costco candy for under 20 bucks. But the memories you make trick-or-treating as a kid are priceless, ones you'll probably hold for the rest of your life. At least, I know I did. And as an adult, it helps me remember and reenact feelings of childish innocence that are now few and far between. Thank you for watching.